so welcome to the channel so the curve you see here is called a bath tub curve so people who designed products and did some reliability analysis must be knowing this curve but the people who are starting up or might be um, working on very preliminary designs uh, might not be aware of this curve so in electronics world the reliability of a particular product can be represented in in the form of a curve uh, where there are three phases associated with it so before uh, going to um, <coughs> the curve let us talk about reliability reliability is nothing but uh, uh, basically how, uh, in a simple way to explain it um, how for how much time your specific product can work um, without any failures over a period of time um, the longer the operation without failures we call it the more reliable right to to put it in a normal uh, generic terms so similarly when you represent that failure rate of a particular product over a time uh, in a graphical format example let us assume we are uh, designing a product and if we represent that product failure over a period of time we come across this sheet what why it comes as a tab we will discuss here so initially when we design a product we get a specification and we work on it uh, so we might have some design issues initially and even if there are no design issues also uh, um, and uh, let us assume you pass the design phase you went to manufacturing during manufacturing uh, uh, phase there could be some defects that could be seen that means the yield of the manufacturing could be lesser so this uh, basically uh, are uh, like two thing issues for this product uh, so two thing issues we say during the beginning but uh, we are saying with respect to the total product release phase so this particular phase which uh, we call it uh, uh, the infant mortality phase is where there could be chance of uh, uh, very uh, high failure rates and then once we start uh, um, doing different uh, analysis coming up with the root cause of the failures and then implementing in the design such that there aren't any uh, other failures that are seen with the product the failure rate gets reduced that means over a period of time once uh, the product is stabilized and it is uh, uh, given to the market and uh, uh, the customers the various users start uh, um, using them as per their requirement uh, in that case they tend to uh, use it continuously and uh, without uh, uh, issues without any failures now even in this scenario also even though most of the um, issues are overcome in the infant mortality stage but there could be issues in the normal operation at the customer place itself why these issues could come up is uh, example uh, a particular user of a product might not have used it as per the specifications he might have uh, let us assume uh, we are saying that uh, uh, this particular product has to work at 12 volts DC plus or minus 10 percent. Instead of 10 percent, he might do uh, 20 percent. Example, uh, so uh, the, the input supply that is given uh, might be having fluctuations and uh, you give uh, a higher tolerance or you might apply a pure DC um, above the tolerance range. In all these cases, you are overstressing the product and then you can also uh, unknowingly there could be some damages that might be happening during the normal operation all these cause uh, um, the product uh, failure so uh, the errors that we talk here 
uh, with these uh, specific uh, areas that we have talked um, like uh, using it uh, um, at a overrated uh, specification or uh, stressing it too much um, so all these uh, lead to a failure um, so that is the, the most cases that occur under normal operation are these failures only uh, the infant failures uh, um, shall not be seen at this stage now as we cross along as we cross uh, this particular uh, operational life of this particular product um, we might have used the product uh, for a very very long time where the, the life of the products the uh, generally we do um, uh, the uh, life uh, calculation of a specific product right before a failure could be seen um, so, in that uh, uh, scenarios where uh, uh, the operational life of the product has exceeded, we might see uh, some failures uh, creeping into the product. So, such failures are seen towards the end of the life. So, in reliability terms, uh, um, uh, when we do these uh, uh, analysis, one of the uh, analysis that we do is uh, mean time between failures. So, mean time between failures is uh, uh, basically um, that <coughs> gives an indication of uh, uh, when uh, a failure can occur. Example, um, if, if you have a product uh, and uh, this particular product you wanted to know for how many years uh, um, it can work without a failure, uh, we do perform this analysis with uh, um, all the um, specifications uh, of the specification of the component used in the product, and then we come up with uh, um, the. Um, failure uh, uh, scenario right failure timeline so <clears throat> that could be uh, the end of the life uh, scenario here uh, where uh, um, we see errors creeping up uh, uh, into the product and uh, slowly uh, you see a lot of uh, um, products coming back for uh, uh, some um, repairs or whatever. So, a very important curve here. This is the curve which gives an idea to uh, the designers, the companies on uh, how their product is going to behave over a period of time. Uh, you can see the, the um, shape of this particular curve is in the form of a bathtub. So that is why it is called a bathtub curve. And um, this particular curve is uh, with respect to the uh, failure rate. So uh, failure rate with respect to time is what uh, is considered here. So um, <coughs> a, a very important curve uh, for the designers to keep in mind and get a view of uh, what could happen uh, with respect to their product and this particular uh, uh, curve uh, need not be followed uh, by the by your product uh, in the market there could be a different scenario that could be seen ultimately the amount of consideration design consideration that you take uh, design uh, guidelines that you follow uh, the um, the amount of analysis that you do, simulations that you do on the particular product in the initial stage and follow all the uh, specifications of the product uh, which gives you a longer life, uh, lesser failures. Uh, so it's all uh, in the hands of the designer and uh, it gives um, a very important uh, <coughs> insight into the uh, product that is released into the uh, about to be released or uh, uh, released into the market and you can get prepared um, uh, for going into the uh, designing a next product going into the um, 
redesign of the specific product or uh, getting the, uh, getting your team ready uh, to get the uh, things done so uh, all this planning could be done uh, based on this uh, mm, hope uh, we gave an insight into the bathtub call please uh, post your questions please let us know um, um, if you have uh, any comments uh, uh, please like and subscribe to our channel thank you